Tiramisu, it sure is a crowd pleaser. And I'm going to show you a different variety now. This is a pistachio tiramisu. It's all about the thick whipped cream. So you'll need 600 mils of thickened cream and I'll add most of this cream to my mixer with a whisk attachment. I'm just going to hold a little bit of this cream back because I'm going to mix this with the pistachio later on. So to this I'll also add some sugar to sweeten the whole thing up. Just caster sugar and vanilla bean paste, about a teaspoon. And we'll pop the lid on and I just want to whisk this until soft peaks form. You don't want stiff peaks at this stage because we still need to mix in the mascarpone and our pistachio paste. So we'll start whisking that. We'll keep an eye on it. Now for the pistachio paste. Here it is here. You can buy this from specialty stores or you can make it yourself. All you need to do is blend up some raw pistachios that have been toasted and then add just a little bit of oil to it. So I'm going to add about half of this, so about 100 grams. We'll hold a little bit back, break it up with the back of your spoon and then we'll add the rest of this cream. So we'll add some and mix it in. Now I'm doing this just to make it a little looser before we fold it through the rest of the cream with a mascarpone. We'll add some more. So ideally you want to hold back about 100 mils of that cream just so we get this lovely intense pistachio cream forming. All right, that looks very good. Now I'll have a look at the cream. Yep, soft peaks, nice and fluffy, that's what we're after. And now on to our mascarpone. So you'll need about 300, 350 grams of mascarpone. It's a really good idea to bring the mascarpone out of the fridge before you start folding it through. You don't want it to be too stiff. So little by little, we're going to add this. So a few spoonfuls. One thing with mascarpone is you don't want to overwork it. You want to just slowly add it in so it doesn't go grainy, it just stays really smooth. So I'm going to slowly fold this in and then we can add our cream. All right, a lovely fluffy pistachio cream is ready to go. I don't mind it being a little speckled like that. I think it just gives it a little more character. So now onto the Saviati biscuit. So we'll need some coffee. I've got some nice strong coffee. We'll just place that into a dish. And if you don't want any alcohol in this, just leave it as is with the sugar or add some almond liqueur. Again, a little nutty flavour there that I'm after. So a good splash for me in there. And then some sugar. We just want to mix in that sugar and allow it to dissolve. And before we start soaking our bickies, we just need one thin layer of our pistachio cream. So we'll just place two scoops in the base. You don't want too much at this stage, we just want to thinly form a base for the Saviati Bikis to sit. So spread that around and now we can start layering. So Saviati Biscuits, you can get them from all your supermarkets, we'll just soak it. Don't leave it in that coffee mixture for too long, you just want to soak it on one side and the other side just for a moment and then straight into our dish and you'll see they start to go soft quite quickly. Now you can use a square one so these are all lined up perfectly. I'm using an oval one, I kind of like this one because it's clear and you can see all the beautiful layers. So we'll just layer these. I actually remember making this dessert for the first time when I was pregnant when I couldn't have raw eggs. So usually in tiramisu you'd have the raw eggs. This is taken out, it's just 100% cream. I also left out the alcohol and it was absolutely delicious. In fact, I loved it so much, I would sit there and just eat straight out of the dish. And I give you permission to do so too, it's that good. All right, I'm gonna continue layering these bickies. Then another layer of this pistachio cream. If you like, another layer of bickies and the cream on top, and then it goes straight into the fridge to chill.
night, our creamy pistachio tiramisu has set in the fridge. It's completely chilled. And just to garnish it, some pistachios. These are my favourite because they're extra green in colour. And we'll just cover it entirely. So usually with your tiramisu at this stage, you would add some cocoa powder. But I'm changing the rules completely on this and for good reason, because these flavours with the cream, the vanilla and pistachio go so well together. But I will allow a little dusting of icing sugar. So just a light amount over the top and it would be rude not to break into this to have a look at how luscious and creamy it is. Just a small amount. Okay, that's not really a small amount. <laughs> but who wants a small amount of tiramisu? A big, generous chunk, just like that. I have to have a taste of this. This is just my go-to dessert. Mm. Coffee, cream, all the delightful things that go so well together. And then pairing that with nuts like pistachio is just a lovely addition. Next time you're making a tiramisu, yeah, you can make the original one or you can make a pistachio one. It's got a better ring to it, I think. Mm.